Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be another photo editing tutorial using the free online tool called Pixlr. Um, and this is going to be um, something that most everybody wants to be able to do or needs to be able to do. So this video tutorial is going to show you how to combine multiple photos together into one composition. Uh, so photo editors call this uh, creating a comp. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off by clicking over here. I'm in Pixlr E, uh, which is the more advanced editor. I'm going to click on Create New. And typically over here, this is where you'd want to think about what's your end um, target. Are you trying to make a eight and a half by 11 um, you know, image that's going to be printed and be a poster or a flyer? Is it only going to be for online use? Is it going to be for Instagram, etc.? And so uh, take a look through all of these uh, different um, templates here. You can see here's uh, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Um, I'm going to stick with just full HD for right now. That is set up for YouTube and video, um, but it'll work for our purposes as well. And I'm going to leave the background turned off. I'm going to click on Create. Okay, so I'm going to combine uh, three or four images. Um, I'm going to take an image of a kid holding a balloon. I'm going to take an image of a moon and then I'll have a night sky as a uh, background. And I'm going to try to combine them in an interesting way. Um, okay, so you want to come over here to Layers. And um, if you go ahead and click on the plus symbol, it should pop up with this prompt right here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Image. And I'm going to go ahead and load up my moon. Now my moon is already a PNG that has a transparent background. So that one is already prepared. So I can just bring it in and there it is, and I'll just put it off to the side here. Um, and you can see, because I brought it in as an image, the layer is already named. If you want to rename the layer, um, you can either right-click on the layer, or you can click on these three little dots, and of course, you can go ahead and change the name. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, the next thing that I need to do is I actually have an image that I need to prepare. So I've got this image of a... Um, kid holding a balloon, and I want to separate him from um, the background. So you would think that you could click on the plus symbol, add an image layer, and you could go ahead and bring the kid into this composition, and then go ahead to take out the background. And that should work. Um, I've had it fail on me multiple times, so I'm just going to do it a different way. So I'm going to open it up in its own session. So I'm going to come up here to File, Open Image, then navigate to my image. So there it is. And if you see up here in the top left, you'll see that um, each of these have tabs. So I've got two images open at once. Okay, so now um, I want to go ahead and try to isolate the kid from the background. So I'm going to click on the Cutout tool, which is the scissors. And I'm going to, I always start off with the AI Auto. And this is a premium feature. That's what this little gold icon means. Um, but it still works. You just have to wait. Usually you have to wait about 10 seconds or so, and then it'll show you an ad and you wait another 10 seconds or so, go get a cup of coffee um, and come back and then it will let you do it. So, okay, so since I'm seeing this uh, ad screen right here, you can see it says ready in and it's counting down 10 seconds. So just be patient when you come back, click on continue. And there we go. So it did a really nice job. Um, so now what I want to do is, and you can see if I zoom in, um, there's a little tiny bit here um, of the uh, background here. You can see it's over here on the balloon as well. I'm going to still bring him into the uh, composition, and then I'll show you how to do some of the cleanup uh, tools in the composition. So I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and just do File Save. Make sure it's a PNG. It does that automatically, which is great. Um, Balloon Kid. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and call it Balloon Kid 2. Download it. And then there we go. Okay, so we'll close that out. I'll now go to my composition, add a layer, image layer, and bring in the Balloon Kid 2 ping. And so there you go. Now we can see that it's in there. And I find that that's 
even though you do have to open it up in another image, it uh, that's kind of the nicest, cleanest way of doing it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save my composition now. So file save. This time I'm going to choose PXD because I want my layers uh, to stay intact. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, Moon Kid Comp and hit download. Okay. All right, so there's that. So now what I want to do is um, I want to move the moon layer. I want to drag that up so it's on top. It's now in front of the balloon. I could just have the moon cover up the balloon completely. Um, that would certainly work. Um, to show you a couple extra tools, though, I'm going to select my balloon kid uh, layer. I'm going to come over here to the cutout tools. And I have these uh, five tools here. Um, I could take the draw tool. Um, I'm just going to take the lasso mask tool and um, I'm going to go ahead and just basically draw a lasso right around the balloon, make a closed shape. And when I let go, you can see that it goes ahead and cuts it out. Um, you can see there's a little bit of blue down there. I will uh, try to take care of that. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and I'll take the moon drag it on over. Um, so this is okay. Of course, I can change the size with the um, arrange tool. Um, with the arrange tool, you've got fixed and you've got free. So fixed means that when you click and drag on one of the four handles, the height and the width uh, stay fixed. And so it stays nice and proportionate. Um, in this case, I want to change it to free. So that way I can make it a little bit more balloon like and make it a little bit more um, more of an ellipse, something like that. So even though it does um, make it a little less realistic, um, I want it to be a little bit more like a balloon. Okay, so something like that. There we go, good. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and bring in a background. Um, one of my favorite um, places for photographs is uh, Unsplash. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a night sky. And there's a whole bunch here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and try this one right here. Okay, so add image layer. And it gets brought in, and um, the images from Unsplash are huge. They're really high resolution, which is amazing. Um, you can see you're going to need to zoom out um, and make sure that you're on the um, Arrange tool and make sure that Arrange is set to Fixed. It should be automatically, but just a good idea. So I had to zoom out, and I can click and drag uh, downward. And you can see that this photograph is um, it's a portrait, so it's much um, taller than it is um, wide. I'm just going to arrange it. I'm going to click and drag it down to the bottom of my layer list so that way it's underneath everything so I can see the kid. Um, I could change it to free um, and kind of distort it a little bit so you can maybe play around with that. You just want to be careful. You don't want to distort too much. Um, again, you can zoom in there and you can see it there. Okay, so there we go. Um, so that works. Um, the, there is distortion on the trees now, but it's not bad. Okay, so one of the last things I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you about um, adding elements. Uh, so they're kind of a hidden feature, but they're really cool. So if you go up here to File and Browse Elements, um, you've got uh, four different categories here. Hopefully they add in some more, but they're really great. Uh, I'm going to go here to Overlay. And again, you're going to see these are a bunch of different categories. Um, and you'll see that you see the premium sticker on a whole bunch. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't use them. So um, again, go through here, see what you can find. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try Fireflies. I haven't really experienced it, but we'll go ahead and we'll see. And these are pretty subtle, but you'll see that all of them say premium. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one here. And it's going to go ahead and show you an ad for about 10 seconds.
Okay, I'll click on continue. And then the cool thing is, is that it gets added and you can see that the fireflies are now in there so I can really see what they look like and I can actually change their transparency on the fly. Um, it's really cool to be able to do this before you actually, um, you know, um, commit to it. Now, the other cool thing here is that you've got, you've got the add button here, although it looks like it's already added. Um, you can still add it. You can delete it with by clicking on the X and sort of take it back. Um, you can undo, you can redo, you can flip horizontally and flip vertically. So if I add in my element there and I don't like the way it is, I can just click on this here and I can flip it back and forth, flip it upside down, um, all the basics. And of course you can change the transparency right here. Don't worry about the transparency so much because you could always come back over here and change the transparency as a layer. But it's still really cool to be able to see that um, here in screen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on close and you can see that it did get added. And so I'm gonna choose my arrange tool, whoops. Um, so I have my layer here and um, you'll notice that when it gets added in, it automatically is locked. Um, so I'm gonna click on the menu I'm going to unlock it that way I can grab the arrange tool and I can move it around and so here is my uh, fireflies right there and again if you don't like it you can delete the layer um, and you can add in um, a whole bunch of stuff so I really encourage you to go uh, check out the overlays I find that the overlays are um, really 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 useful um, okay so that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. Um, hopefully uh, this helps you out and uh, you create some really cool stuff. Um, you'll notice that I didn't really do any lighting effects or anything like that. I didn't want to make the tutorial too much. Um, maybe I'll make a part two and uh, get into some lighting as uh, both the moon and the kid um, definitely need some lighting. So I will, uh, I will uh, see you in the next one. Thanks.